Hi, I'm Bill Lampton. Happy to talk with you about Zig, the autobiography of Zig Ziglar. Having been an admirer of Zig Ziglar's, I wish I had found this book much earlier. Many people know that Zig wrote a book called See You at the Top, but this book points out that it certainly didn't look like he was destined for the top. He was the tenth of twelve children. His father died at age five. He grew up in near poverty in rural Mississippi. He was a college dropout. Yes, he did become a rather quick success as a cookware salesman, but in many ways similar to the career of Mark Twain. He then lost a lot of money investing in poor business ventures. So his book is in many ways a guidebook for people who've struggled along the way and wonder if there's still hope for them. Here's what he says in the introduction to the book. My story is proof that you can start anywhere and get where you want to go. I hope you see through my story that life is a great teacher, that failure is only an event, and that regardless of what happens to you along the way, you will eventually come to understand that everything that occurs teaches and prepares you for the next stage of life. Really, that's what I like most about the book. He doesn't gloss over the tough times. He doesn't avoid, avo avoid responsibility for bad decisions and bad investments that he made of his time and of his money. Near the end of the book, he says, no, I wouldn't change a thing, even though during the first 27 years of our marriage, things were particularly tough financially. I bought gasoline 50 cents worth at a time on many occasions. That's because he only had 50 cents available. I miscalculated while selecting groceries and had to put items back because I could not pay for them. I've had my electricity turned off and my telephone disconnected. I had to turn a car back in because I could not pay for it. And when our first baby was born, the hospital bill was $64, and I had to make two cookware sales in order to get her out of the hospital. So, this book tells you the true life story of someone who became world famous, who dined with presidents, who became a celebrity himself. Again, I highly recommend the autobiography of Zig Ziglar entitled Zig. Thanks for being with me. I'm Bill Lampton.